Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day you're watching this broadcast. This is Dr. Erika Tango Monkem with IEM Approach, where we inspire, equip, and motivate people to discover God's great potential in them, develop that potential, and uh, deploy it. The reason you have great potential in you is because uh, you were born for a time such as this. Your generation needs you, and uh, there are problems. and that only you can solve. We've been going through the book of uh, Proverbs, and today we are in Proverbs uh, chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6. And um, after reading about the perils of, of, of adultery and why we shouldn't commit adultery, today we're going to be talking about the uh, danger of making certain promises. If you look at the caption, I've said that you are not a bank. You are not a bank. Uh, therefore, stop trying to live and function as if you are a bank. Uh, some of us do that in the name of we're trying to be good, we're trying to help. Uh, unfortunately, when you loan money to people, when you loan money to people, uh, you're going to end up uh, ruining your friendships, you're going to end up ruining your relationships. Please hear me and hear me very carefully. Don't loan uh, money uh, because you are not a bank. You are not a bank. If somebody needs a loan, they go to the bank, take the loan, and uh, the banks are set up to manage loans. The banks are set up to um, be able to evaluate the borrower if it makes sense for them to borrow that money. Uh, you don't have that setup, and that's why you need to be very careful. If somebody comes to me to borrow money, and uh, I will give them money that I'm willing to part with, I'm going to help them out, but I'm not going to loan them money because I'm not set up to uh, be able to collect that money if they don't pay. Proverbs chapter six. It says, my son, if you become shorty for your friend, if you have shaken hands in pledge for a stranger, you are snared by the words of your mouth. A snare is a trap. A snare is a trap. So if you give shorty for your friend, you make a pledge for a stranger, the words that have come out of your mouth have trapped you. They've trapped you. You are in snare. And so you need to be careful before you make promises that you're going to loan money to somebody, that you're going to co-sign a loan for somebody. Yes, I'm going to say it. I remember some years ago, my younger brother wanted to buy a car and he came to me and said, brother, I want to buy a car. Will you co-sign the loan for me for the car? I told him, no, brother, I'm not going to co-sign the loan for your car. And by the way, you want to buy a car and you don't have enough money to buy the car, then don't buy the car. It doesn't matter how serious the need is. It's a car and um, you can buy a cheaper car, whatever amount of money you're having, you have to make do with it. I'm not going to co-sign co a loan. Because when you co-sign a loan for somebody, when you shorty somebody and the person defaults on that loan, it's going to be on you. I have heard so many horror stories of brother-in-law co-signing, sister-in-law co-signing, brother co-signing, friends co-signing, don't co-sign loans. Don't co-sign a loan. You do it, you are digging your own grave. You have ensnared ins yourself. You've placed yourself in a trap. Don't co-sign the loan for nobody. Because when that person defaults on that loan, you're going to pay it. All the horrible stories I've heard, true stories 
a friend told me I could sign a school fee loan for my brother's wife, brother, my wife's brother. And when this guy finished school, guess what? He defaulted. He refused to pay the loan my friend co-signed for. And what happened? He had to pay back this loan because he co-signed it. We have been told here that my son, if you have become shorty for your friend, even if it's a friend, and if you've, if you've shaken hands in place for a stranger, you've been ensnared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. This is what you have to do. So do this, my son, and deliver yourself. For those of you who have not your co-signed, don't do it. But if you've done, this is what you should do. For you have come into the hand of your friend. Go and humble yourself. Plead with your friend. Give no sleep to your eyes. No slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hands of a hunter and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. A gazelle that is caught by a hunter will do everything possible to free itself because the gazelle understands I'm going to end up in the stomach of this hunter if I don't free myself. I'm going to be dead meat. Free yourself. The best thing is not to get into that situation to start with. So today, the main trust of our discussion is that don't borrow money. You are not a bank. You are not set up to manage the collection. I didn't say don't help people. There's a difference between giving money as a loan to somebody and actually helping the person. If somebody comes to you that I need a thousand dollars, and if all you can afford is fifty, give them the fifty dollars and tell them, brother, this is what I can do for you, and this is how much I can. But if you, are, if you have $1,000 that you are willing to let go, you can give them. Because when you loan the money, it's going to destroy your friendship. Your friend will default on that loan and will destroy your friendship. You need to be very careful. Somebody told me the other day that a friend set up a business to wire money to Cameroon. And people will call him up and tell him to wire the money to their relatives and then they will pay him later on. Unfortunately, this guy will wire money and these same people will not pay him. And I remember the person who comes to you to borrow things you have. And in their mind, they are thinking, if you can have this much, why can't you just give me? And that is why when they borrow from you, most of the times, they won't pay back. They won't pay back. So don't do it. Tell them, this is what I can do. I can give you a little bit, what you can afford. But if you borrow, it's going to destroy your friendships. If you borrow, it's going to destroy your wealth. If somebody needs to take a loan, they should go to the bank. If they don't have what it takes to borrow money from the bank, then they are not ready, they are not ripe for you to give them the money. It's not being wicked. It's being sensible. It's being wise. Remember our reading Proverbs, because in the book of Proverbs, we gain knowledge, we gain understanding, and we become wise. We've been told that you should not shorty and don't go around borrowing money to people. We're going to continue tomorrow or next time to talk about learning from the ant. It's going to be on productivity and how you can be successful. I want to thank you for watching. 
This broadcast is coming from you from Jitawa Farm. You see behind me here, uh, this is our fish pond. We have about 400 catfish in here. And we'll be harvesting uh, not too long from now. I'll keep you posted. The Tower Farm is located in Pittsburgh, East Texas. And we do strictly organic vegetables, grass fed goats, cows. We have pasture raised chickens, goose, geese, and ducks. Guinea fowls, you name it. We ship all over the country. If you need anything, let us know. You can leave your comments uh, below this uh, video. If you have any questions, if you've had any bad experience with loaning uh, money to friends, please share with us. If you've had success, share with us. If you've ever shorted a loan, and it, it, it got into trouble. Please share with us. It's good for us to have this conversation. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for more updates. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so and share this content. Uh, remember, don't shorty, don't loan money to people. It's not being wicked, it's being wise. God bless you.